Hello and welcome. All right, I'm uh, just disconnecting the uh, cables to this power ramp board and uh, I'm already removing screws. Just got to take a few more screws off. Let's go over to the uh, replacement board. So here on the replacement board, I'm just uh, applying the uh, new heatsink compound. And I did notice on this board, this is a uh, one earlier version revision of the board. This is an E, and the one I've got in the radio is an F. And I did notice that uh, here they've got a uh, thermal sensor right there. And it was just free floating on my edition, the F version. There is a, a dab of heatsink compound there, and then this guy is folded over into it. So uh, I will uh, add a, a dab of heatsink compound and uh, do the same. Okay, let me proceed with that and I'll uh, swap these boards. Old board is out. Let's just uh, drop in the new one here now. Okay, that went in rather uh, easily. Let's um, hook everything up. And uh, there's a couple um, places that I'll have to desolder. There's one, and there's another one there where I check the uh, the driver and the bi the bias current. There'll be two settings there I'll have to check. So uh, yeah, it's not easily done here. I have to desolder these connections here and hook up an ammeter. But uh, at this moment, I am just uh, uh, identifying if this solves my problem. If I uh, if it's a go, then I will do that. So let me just hook up these cables and uh, continue. Okay, everything uh, wired up uh, nice and tight. I'm just going through the uh, final check here. Make sure everything's uh, wired up properly. You know, I am noticing there's a uh, couple of thermistors, one here, one there, that are uh, measuring temperature on those final dr uh, transistors, and I am noticing that uh, they seem to have a tendency to uh, lift out of their thermal compound. I've got that one kind of sitting in there nicely. I think I'll have to add a little bit more in this one. And uh, I do believe that that's probably the root cause that uh, started my problem because I did notice that on the original board that uh, one of them did lift off and when that is the case it starts to run hot and it thinks it's cool and it's not and that's uh, where my overheating started. There is, I'm just trying to reach here and uh, keep cam steady at the time, there's a guy in eBay uh, he's selling a, a fan that'll uh, hook up to the back here and there's power back here as well too. Uh, I do have a nice fan here as well and I'm going to consider possibly uh, I'll have to maybe uh, drill a few holes back here uh, for mounting and uh, have that constant flow. There is this fan here that uh, shuts on and off by itself but I do believe that uh, that might not be enough that's something I will uh, ponder in the meantime I'm looking back here let me put a little more thermal compound on there 
and uh, hook this guy up and uh, see what results I got. She's all powered up and I'm sorry to say the results are negative. No change in symptom. Let me uh, just show you again what that is. I'm just on AM mode here. Turn up the volume a little bit. I do have a, a dummy load hooked up. And I'm running at about half power on the output. So again, this is AM mode. And I'm looking at uh, power output on the meter here. So there's that interference again. Or still. If I switch over to sideband, no audio. Okay, I guess it was just a gut feeling. That's not good enough when you're inexperienced, so the experienced guys are probably uh, more correct in stating that it's a um, component on the um, main board. So, going back to the drawing board here, I'm just reaching for my main board. That's this guy here. It'll probably be a little easier swapping out, so uh, let me uh, put him in and try again. Mm -hmm. 